Okay. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. This is good. A couple of people are still coming in. This is perfect. I'm excited. Um, and then, yeah, like like she said about the Q&A, please, please write in there. Because um, part of what we're going to do today is uh, we'll, your participation will make it a lot easier. And we're going to talk about some fun things to draw and some things that you like to do. So please, please, please write in the Q&A. And I've got it pulled up here so I can look at it too. Um, but I guess while, while people are coming in, does anyone want to write in where they're from? Like where they're at? Uh, we're here in Texas. That's where I'm at right now. And it's super hot. So I don't know if that's what it's like where you're at. Um, but speaking, of, so while you're thinking of that, I'm sure, should I be seeing the answers yet? Is anyone written anything? Looks like we still don't have any answers. There we go. You should see Michigan right now. Perfect. Michigan, that's what I'm talking about. New Jersey, perfect. Thank you guys so much. Duluth, I've heard you guys get really cold in the winter. Atlanta, okay, this is good. And I got one more question about the, the Q&A, just so I can ask you. I'm, I'm only seeing a few and then they kind of disappear. Is that right? Like. That's right, yeah. I'm, I'm um, sending them over to another place so that it doesn't get all full, up, full, full here. Gotcha. Okay. So if I don't read what you say, guys, don't worry. We're, we're working through this. Okay. But someone else lives in Texas. This is perfect. Okay. Okay. New York. Yeah, this is awesome, guys. So we're all over the place. And uh, I feel like that's super encouraging for us because that means that, um, that, I don't know, we all have different experiences. We're all learning different things. And since today we talked about doing something with fall leaves, um, I think we all live in a little bit different environments. So here in Texas, it was kind of hard for me to find some fall leaves. It's still basically summer, and I don't know what it's like where you're at. And you can write in the chat if it's hot or cold or what it's like, but it's almost a little early for us for some fall leaves. So I've got some summer leaves here, and I found I did find a couple, a couple of dead leaves. Uh, don't have any fall leaves. Yep, that's real. In Arizona, you probably have a cactus or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, uh, so but I guess I'll, let me introduce myself just two seconds. I want to get right to the drawing, but just so you know, uh, my name's Josh. I've worked for Michaels for about six years and uh, I love to draw. That's my favorite, favorite thing. And that's what I get to do for Michaels. Uh, I get to draw the fun stuff, uh, like the Santa Clauses that go on like the wrapping paper and the Easter bunnies and the jack lanterns. It's, it's really fun. We get to do all that cool stuff. But sometimes we uh, run out of ideas, just like anybody, right? Like, oh man, what's some fun things to draw? And one way that I found that helps me think of fun things to draw is to use objects that are not drawings at all. Um, kind of like what we're going to be doing today. So there's some really cool artists that I wanted to introduce you to. Import, uh, um, some famous important people that I think it's important for you to see. And they draw like we're going to draw today. And they've been really inspirational to me. So I want you guys to see this. Can I, can I share my screen? If I hit share screen? You sure can. Okay, let's take a look at this, you guys. Okay, okay, so you guys can see my screen. Um, this is a guy named Sergey Block, and he draws with, you know, you can see his ink line is very wobbly and loose, and then he uses objects like these cherries, and he puts them right into his drawing. That's so cool. Let's look at something else he's done. Look at this one. He's got some chocolates and a macaroon, and he's making them like, look at this guy has like a chocolate on top of his car or this car is, I won't, I won't hover over it because it turns gray, but do you see how the, they're below the, below the, this car, there's like a truck that's made out of a chocolate or this person has a macaroon on the top of their, on the top of their uh, bike. That's pretty cool. Let's look at this next one. Oh, look at this. Look, I love this image. This is, uh, it's a guy holding a banana behind a robber. It almost looks like, a, like, like a, a gun or something like that, but it's not, it's a banana. And so I love how he used this photograph of a banana and then he put his ink lines right around it. It's so fun using a real object with ink lines. Here's another one with chocolates. Look, it's a chocolate seller. And all he did was he took some chocolates like that you might get at Christmas or something and put them um, onto a white piece of paper. And then he drew around it and he made it look like a cart selling chocolates. It's so cool. And I think the thing that's neat about this style, you guys, is that 
the ink line is really wobbly and rough. It doesn't look real, right? He's not shading in all the shading on this guy's coat or anything like that. He's making the ink line very simple because the chocolates are very complex. On the chocolates, we see lighting, we see shading. Um, and so there's almost like this difference, how simple the line work is and how detailed the photograph of the object is. I've got Matthew asking a question over here. I don't know. Is, is, or someone's raising their hand, maybe. Okay, let's keep going. If Let me know if you guys have a question. Um, let's look at this next image. This is from a really important artist. His name is Saul Steinberg. And he, he lived a little while ago. He's since passed away. We, we're, we miss him. But he did some really cool drawings. And look at this. He drew this lady on a chair. He just drew it on a chair. And he drew her arm on the table. Isn't that cool? So you don't even have to draw on paper. You can find other things. Don't draw on your mom's wall. Don't do that. But there's ways that we can draw on other things. This image is really cool. I've always liked this one. Look at these people dancing. Can you see that? Now, this one doesn't involve any objects. But the thing I really like about it is do you see how he just drew these shapes. And it's like the, the, the man and the woman that are dancing. We see part of the man and we see part of the woman. But I don't know. He just used these shapes to kind of make um we just see parts of things and other things are just kind of hinted at he doesn't have to draw all the stuff he doesn't have to draw the sleeve or the fingers but we know they're there which is really cool and then this is another artist his name is jean julien uh he lives in france and he does some really cool stuff as well and so look at he drew this person and look they've got a roll for their body a croissant made of like a bread for their body let's see this next one look at this look at this how silly is this there's this guy with his big muscles made out of bread. It's made out of rolls. And then look at this guy. He's skinny and he's made out of a breadstick. Isn't that silly? So this is so neat, you guys. Anywhere you go, you're going to see things. You might see some rolls or a breadstick like this. And it might give you an idea. I can make that into something. And so that's what we're going to do today is like we see shapes and things. And then we think, well, what could I do with that? It's so exciting. It's so exciting. Let's see this next one right here. Look at this. Look at this guy's coat. It's made out of a hot cross bun. Isn't that cool? Isn't that such a cool idea? So the, that's all the pictures I wanted to show you. There's a bunch more. Um, and I'm, I could probably in a chat or somewhere, I could write down those names if you want to look up more. Those artists are really cool artists and people I think that you would love to look at what they do. But um, let me show you what I've got today that we're going to draw with. So I brought some paper. Oh, can you turn the, you guys can see me, right? Okay. Yes. Not my, I don't want to use my hands yet. Just to see my face. Okay. So I've got some normal old paper. And I also brought just a couple sheets of cardstock. Either one's good. Um, I think most of these drawings today we're just going to have fun with. But if you want something that you're going to keep and, you know, give to your your parent or something like that, then maybe you want to put it on some cardstock or something thicker. Um, I've got a bunch of markers, just normal markers. And then I've just got a bunch of brushes, just normal brushes. And I've got, I mean, I've chose some different ones. This is called a Sumi brush. This is a Japanese brush, uh, just like a normal thin brush. Um, and then I've got some super small ones, super small ones. So these are, we're going to, we're going to experiment with those. And then the best part is I've got my, oh, I've also got some water. I'm going to put stuff in and then I got all my nature stuff. So let's take a look what I got. So I just went outside for like a normal little nature walk, which is so good because guys, when you're making art, you can't be stuck inside all day, just drawing stuff. You got to get outside and see some things. And it's so good for your brain just to go on a walk. So I found some weird stuff. This one's really super weird. It's an old piece of wood with an old nail out of it. Probably not the safest thing to be touching, but there was some construction by my house. So I just grabbed it. Um, and then I got some sticks. I thought maybe we could use those. Uh, just some different kinds of leaves. Again, these were green leaves. Here, and maybe, you know what? Maybe put the camera down. Let's do the camera down so you can see the stuff I'm putting out here. So there's the green leaves, an old brown leaf too. Um, 
I got some long, look at these long leaves. These are from my irises outside our house. And they got some dirt on them. That could be good for a picture too. I got some pine cones. And look at this. It's a piece of a brick. What could that be? I don't know. Um, I found this. I have no idea what this is. It's this metal round thing. It almost kind of looks like a hat. I don't know. Could that be something? And then I've got these pretty yellow flowers. These grow right. I've got a fire hydrant in my front yard. And these yellow flowers grow right around the fire hydrant. So I grab those. And then I've got these awesome flowers at our house too. They're called Mexican petunias. And they put out 50 new blossoms every day. And uh, on the picture I put on the internet that had the frogs on a log, I used these Mexican petunias for that picture uh, because I've just got lots of beautiful blossoms. And then I've got some more leaves. You know, we talked about doing leaves. These are some more, you know, kind of dead fall leaves, some different shapes. Um, and a few other things, but let's start. We'll start there. We'll start there. Um, so grab your stuff. And, and you know what? I laid all this stuff out here in front of me, but there's no room to draw. So maybe you put a couple things to the side. Okay, and, and anything. I mean, I, I feel like obviously you're seeing just a few things I grabbed, but you know, I, the guy, like we looked at Sergey, he used um, chocolates. You can use whatever you've got in hand. So, and I got some dirt. Ah, that's okay. It happens. We're making art. It can get messy. Okay. Okay. Everybody doing okay? Did anyone, how about in the, in the Q and A, can someone write what they found? Did you, did you find anything? Did someone go outside and, and, uh, and collect some things? And did you find anything that I didn't have? Is there anything that you can talk about? Some rocks, oh, some rocks. I didn't even grab any rocks. That's such a good idea. Rocks are wonderful. Pine cones, leaves, bark. You guys, you're experts. This is so good. And wasn't that fun? Raise your hand if it was fun to go find some stuff outside. Mushrooms, yes, yes. Oh, isn't our world beautiful? There's so much to be inspired by. Berries, oh my goodness. Don't eat them all. Unless, well, unless they're the kind you're not supposed to eat, and then don't eat them at all. Monkey balls, I don't know what that is. Cool rocks and spotted leaves. Isn't it neat how the leaves change? Um, sometimes when they start to die, they start to get spots on them, or maybe bugs can get different spots on them. An acorn. Ooh, that acorn. Mm, I love acorn. My daughter loves acorns. We can, they have a little top on them. We call it acorn hats. Magnolia seed pods. Beautiful moss. Yeah, down here in Texas and in the South, we have magnolia trees and they're beautiful and they have big pods. Berries. Okay, you keep it coming, guys. Keep it coming. Oh, what's this? Wood chips, rocks, marigold flowers, long grass, zinnia flowers. And it was fun getting them. Awesome. Karthika, that's wonderful. What a good list. I'm so glad you guys are here with me to draw today. We've got, it looks like we have 45 minutes. We got tons of time to make some amazing drawings. So this is, this is perfect. Let's get started. Um, the first thing I think I want to do is let's put down an object first. Uh, so let's start. I'm just going to just start going. So look, I've got this. Okay, you guys looking at my hands? I've got this uh, brick here, this piece of a brick. What could this be? What could this be? And if you have ideas, please put them in. Oh, a leaf that's heart-shaped. I love heart-shaped leaves. Anytime you can find a heart in nature, I think it's just special. If you have stuff you want to... Ooh, oh, look at this. This one said they found some leaves, but they were wet because it was raining. And lantana flowers. That's perfect. I wonder if you had wet leaves, if that can make some different art. I'll have to think about that. Money. <laughs> Someone found some money. And a shirt. Okay, you can use whatever you want. A snail shell. You guys, these are special things. Okay, this is great. Okay, let's look at this. Let's look what I got here. I've got this. This brick, this piece of a brick, let's see what it's gonna be. Ooh, that kind of looks like a shield to me. That's cool. Hmm. Or, oh, oh, I've got, I've got so many ideas, guys. Let's start drawing them. Let's start drawing. Okay, oh, okay, so let me get started. Um, I'm gonna start with this marker just so we can do some quick ideas. Let's, let's get this, I got a big marker here. 
Uh, yeah, let's do the marker first. Look, the first thing I thought of, guys, when I saw this was a chocolate bar. Look. It looks like an a, a chocolate bar that's a little bit unwrapped, right? Don't you think? Can you see that? Maybe the bite out of the side. And we can, you know, I'm just going to draw on the object. We can draw on our object. Look at that. It looks like a chocolate bar. There's some little pieces of chocolate bitten off. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, what else could we do? Let's move over here. See, and once you draw, once you take it away, it just the drawing doesn't feel like it's a drawing anymore. That's okay. I like this shield idea. So here, let's let's go, let's do the shield idea. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over because I drew on that side. And what if, and again, this is getting kind of messy. I, I think if I could have, I could have probably washed these things off and dried them off, that would have been a good idea. But look, let's let's make this look like a shield. And what if we've got like a like a knight, like an old soldier? So look, I'm gonna draw. If you want to draw with me, you can. If you've got something similar, when I draw knights, I sometimes draw them like this. There's this helmet. I put a thick line right there. Look at that. Do you see that? And some feathers. Ooh, maybe three. Okay. So he's got his shield. Now, how are we going to make the shield work? So let's see. We're going to put his shoulders. And hmm, maybe move the shield right here. Yeah, maybe like that. And then we can put his arm down here. And maybe he's holding a maybe he's holding a sword in this arm. Would that be cool? Let's Very see. cool. Whoa, thank you. Let's see if this is whoa. And then Hmm, some big shoulder pads or something. Is that looking like a knight? It is. It is looking like a knight, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And it's cool where, isn't that cool? We have that rock in there. So it kind of just makes it, I mean, it'd be cool if we drew a knight, obviously without the rock, that'd be a nice thing. But drawing it with the rock, I think it just makes it feel so much more special and kind of just different. You know what I mean? So look, there's our, there's our knight with his shield. Is that pretty cool? And maybe, you know what we could do here? Let's leave this like this for a second. And I wonder if we can get some things we can add to it. Like, hmm, maybe, we, I don't know. Do you want to try one of these yellow flowers for, for his feather maybe, or maybe for a shoulder pad? Um, or maybe, maybe we can make something else out of this. Maybe we can make a whole scene. Or, ooh, what if, oh, I've got an idea. Ah, oh, I've got an idea. So I've got a stick here, but it's too big. So I'm just going to break off part of it. it. Smells good in here. I don't know if you can smell this. So I've got some sort of plant that smells good. Look, that almost looks like a table to me. And then what, what, what could be on the table? What do, what do knights eat? I think of like maybe uh, what's something, what's something you could eat? Write it in there, guys. Something, give me something silly. What's something silly we could put on this table? I, I put a plate, but what's on the plate? Can you guys tell me something silly? Hmm. For now, we have a suggestion for a leaf for the sword. A leaf for the sword? Why did I think of that? That's so good. Oh, I, I'm seeing it. Okay, well, let's, let's get a leaf for the sword. We have, um, for food, we have dragon tail, turkey leg, pudding, steak. All good things. Let's do it. Look at this. Look at that. A leaf for the sword. Look at that. How cool is that? You guys, I, I'm going I'm to draw on a leaf. I'm just going to draw on a leaf just for fun. Let's see if, if that make it cool to put a little line there. How cool is that? Look at that giant green sword. And what did you say? A turkey leg, a dragon tail. Ooh, all good things. Let's do them both. So look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a circle. This is gonna be our dragon tail steak or a dragon tail ham. Look, there's the dragon tail. And what was, he said turkey leg? Let's put a turkey leg on top. Okay. Um, and then 
what if we can we add something else to that? Like maybe like a small a bird feather on the helmet. Oh, a feather on the helmet. Yes, thank you for reminding me. Let's do it. I wonder if this blue feather could or this blue flower could work. Could that kind of look like a feather, you think? It kind of does. It does. It kind of does. Maybe I'll put I have a couple of them. Maybe I'll put another one. Isn't that cool? You guys, this is so cool. We're doing it. We're doing it, you guys. Maybe you know what? This could be. I'm gonna take this rock over here. I'm just gonna make a little glass full of root beer. And the rock is the root beer inside the glass. Isn't that cool? Oh my goodness. So what do you guys wanna do? Do you wanna draw another one? Let's do something else. Thank you, Santa, that looks awesome. Oh, and someone says Superman's chest design. You totally aced it. That looks just like Superman's chest design. Oh my goodness. That could be really cool too. Let me put my lid on my marker real fast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these things to the side. I'm gonna get a clean piece of paper, okay? Someone said, I'm making a tree for the background with green crafting feathers. That's beautiful. Oh, I wish I could see that. Instead of a table, looks like horse's body and legs. You guys, we got to draw this stuff. Let's do a horse and let's maybe even do Superman. I think that sounds awesome. So let's put these things to the side. And that's the best part. We can just keep reusing these things, right? I think at some point you could glue it down if you wanted to make a final drawing. But I figured today we're having so much fun. I don't want to glue it down. We got to keep drawing. So hold on just a second. And we can always make it again, right? Like if we feel like, um, man, I wish I would have glued that down. We can glue it down later. It's okay. It's okay. So let's let's see. Let's see. Um, both of those were good. I'm gonna try the ink now. I know I talked a lot about ink. I've got a bottle of it here. Please be careful if you're with your if you're with your parents, your guardian, uh, anybody. Uh, ink can get really messy really fast. So I just want to. Um, just say, put that out there. Please be responsible if you're using ink and, and find some ways to use it where it doesn't make a big mess. Um, I've got, I'm working on a desk. I'm not working on the floor. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to just be, play it safe. Okay, so I've got a brush here. I'm gonna do this one. I try to find, this is called a round brush. Um, it's uh, like, these are obviously called a flat brush. I'm not using that today. We want something like this. So let's get some water. I'm bringing that over here close. Okay, I've got my ink. Opening that up. Yeah, ink is so fun, guys. It's like, think of it. Like a bottle of ink is like a million opportunities, a million things you could do. Oh, oh. I didn't realize that was a drop of ink. I thought that was a crumb. Maybe we'll just use it, huh? Okay, so let's get let's get our let's see. I want to I want to make it tall. I think we're doing Superman. We gotta make a tall drawing. Oh yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna flip that over. Well, you know, no, I think that's the point of this exercise. We use what we got. So we got a couple ink marks there. Let's see if we can find some ways to use them. Okay, can everyone see that? Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ink can be kind of scary sometimes, but that's the best part. You just got to go in, just dip it in. Let's just do this. Okay. And that's why I love those drawings. And you want to, I'm going to tell you guys a secret. The way those guys are drawing, the, the, the examples I showed you, they make a lot of drawings. That's how their style is. They make tons. They'll, they, if it didn't quite turn out right, they'll make another. They'll make another. And we just get to see the last one they made, but they've probably made thousands of drawings. So don't be afraid. Just start making them. Don't don't think you have to make perfect drawings. Okay. So let's see. Let's do a let's do a Superman's head. Let's start with the head. So there's there's his nose and his face and his hair. He has curly hair. And we'll, we'll color it in. And I you guys I love coloring with ink because I love leaving some spots that aren't colored in all the way. I think that makes it look like it's shiny 
or it just makes it look interesting. Okay, and then we'll put an ear down there and some eyes. Okay, and how about a mouth? And guys, I'm leaving his chin really big because that will help him feel strong. So there's there's our Superman head, huh? Now I know it's a little to the side, so let's let's make sure we get our rock right where we want it. I think that looks pretty good. Let's get a little more ink. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my brush just a little wet. I don't want to use too much water, but I want it to not get all uh, super inky. So let's see how this goes. And I, sometimes on my ink bottle, guys, I'll just brush it on the side a little bit to knock off a little bit of the extra ink. So let's do. I got a lot of stuff on this desk. Let's see. Let's do his neck right there. Let's come over here with his big, strong arm. And then let's draw the side of his chest. And then the other side of his chest right here. And then do you see our line that we made over here? I think we can make that into his arm, don't you think? Let's make that into his arm. So let's come over here again, a little bit more ink. And let's come over here and Ah, in there and up there and boom he has a neck and he has arms and oh my goodness look at this guys this is funny watch this i'm gonna make his arms so small look at this i'll just use that little line we already had and i'm gonna come in here and look look at his little arm pink and then i'm gonna put his i'm putting his his, his arm his arms and his hands on his hips and sometimes i like to do a little swirl like this for his fingers and see the cool thing about making a small arm like that guys is that makes his chest look even bigger huh that's what i like to do whenever you're making a drawing you got to think of what's called a scale and what that means is if you want to make something look big you got to make something next to it look small so we know that that thing is really big. So now we know his chest is huge because we made his arm so small. So I think we want to do the same thing here. And I have a cool idea, guys. I have a really cool idea. Watch this. I'm going to draw, because I want this arm to look kind of similar to that arm. Similar means kind of like the same. So I'm going to come in here. And look, you're like, wait, what are you doing? I, it's OK. Let's draw the bottom of his arm. And then, remember I'll swirl. Let's try our swirl again. Sorry, guys, I have not been watching the chat. I Let's think see. everybody's just mesmerized. Okay, good. But see how he has arms now? So now, oh my goodness, look at this Superman. Look at this Superman guy. I think we're going to use this line to be his cape. That's what I think we're going to do, but we don't need to worry about it right now. Let's just do his belt. There we go. And look, I'm going to make it a pretty small belt. That'll help him feel like he's big. So there's a little, little belt. And then let's do his legs. I think we're going to do his legs small too. Pink, pink, pink. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this Superman. Does he look kind of silly? Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. Who is this guy? He looks silly and he looks happy, right? He looks like we, a guy we wanna, we wanna trust. He can save our cat, get our cat out of a tree. I'm okay with that. Definitely, someone in the Q&A says it looks great. Thank you. Thank you. And look, I'm going to do the same thing with his boots. Look at this. I thought I'd put his boots up here, but nope, I'm putting them down here. Just little boots. That makes him even look bigger. Okay. Um, and something else you can do. This is cool, guys. I love, I love ink for this reason. Let's color in his, let's color in his shorts, but we're going to leave some white spots just like we did on the hair to make it look shiny. So I'm going to come in there. I'm going to do it. I'm kind of doing it a little sloppy. You see, I'm leaving some white spots in there. I'm doing that on purpose. I think that looks kind of cool. And then when I come to this side, watch this. This is my favorite part of Superman's shorts. 
I'm going to leave a white bar right there because I think that makes it look like it's shiny. Oh my goodness. And you might as well, let's, let's color on his feet too. We're here, might as well. Now you'll see sometimes you guys, your ink will get a little bit dry. See how it's kind of scratchy? That's great. That's called dry brushing and people do it all the time. And I do it all the time. I love it. For this drying, I'm, I think I'm going to keep it kind of wet. But if it starts to get scratchy, just go with it. It's a style. It's a thing. That's okay. There he is. There's his, there's his, his little boots and his little shorts. And then I think we want to do that cape. And look, at we already have this line left here. Let's just use it. That's what this whole exercise is about, guys. Using the shapes that we have, the things that we found outside, find a way to use them for what we need. So let's find a way we can use our shapes to make his flowing cape. Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. Hmm. No, I was going to end his cape there, but I don't want to. We'll make it go a little farther. Look at this amazing superhero guy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't that look super cool? Oh, let's, you know what? Let's give him, let's just draw his shirt right here where his shirt starts. Josh, sorry, your head is in the way. We can't see what you're drawing. Oh, is it? Okay, can you see it? It was, now? now it's gone, yeah. Now it's gone. I'm going to do something else, guys. I'm looking at this little shine I put on his shorts, and I decided I don't know if I like it anymore. So I'm just going to cover it up. And then I'm going to put a little extra line here just to bring the bottom of his shorts to his legs. I think I like that a little better. But I think that it was a great idea for super, to draw Superman, guys. So this is where his, his cape hooks up. So we're just going to draw his, draw his cape here a little bit. And if we wanted, we could go in here now and we could color it or something. But I think we'll leave it, we'll leave it like this for today. Um, but there we go. Isn't that super cool? And I want to leave, I don't want to draw on the brick. I could draw an S on it or something, but I think I just want to leave it like a brick. Or maybe well, you know, uh, maybe I do an S. I, I don't want to draw the whole Superman logo. I think that would kind of make it look too over the top, but maybe I should do an S like this. Let's see. Kind of like a wiggly S. What about adding flowers to the cape? What? That's such a good idea. See, that's why you guys are here. That's such a good idea. Okay, I'm going I'm to wash out my brush. That's something important to think about with ink, guys. We don't want to leave that ink in the brush too long. That's not very good for it. So I'm going to take it in my water to swirl all around as much as I can. I'm going to dry it off my paper towel. I'm going to leave it right there. So let's find some flowers. That's a good idea. Um, let's see. What could we do? What could we do? Hmm. 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 I've got a few more. I should have grabbed more, guys. I should have grabbed more flowers. But we can kind of like maybe try to even cover it all up. Okay. Okay, this is good, guys. This is very good. Something like that. Cool, cool. I love it. Okay, well, we've done another one. See, let's just keep going. You know what I'm going to do? Like, well, no, it's okay. We're, I was going to say I'm going to take a picture, but my phone is, is on the, I can't take a picture. So you guys take a picture, okay? Okay, so let's, let's do another one. What were some of the other ideas we talked about? I think we talked about... Um, I can't remember. What was the other thing we talked about, guys? I see an angry dragon that just woke up. That's a really cool thing to draw. We also had the horse. Horse. That's right. We're going to do the horse. Let's do the horse. Horse time, guys. It's horse time. I'm a huge fan of cowboys and horses and all those things. I mean, I live in Texas, for gosh darn it. I got to like horses. Okay, so let's find. So we had this stick. I think, right? And we had these legs. Now, let's see. I'm gonna look through what I've got. Maybe I've got something else that could work for this horse, like this leaf, maybe. Could this leaf work for his tail? Yeah, that looks like a horse tail. I'm down with that. 
Um, what else? What else? If you have ideas, guys, or something you could use, let me know in the chat. Um, I want something. Ooh, I wonder if I could make this shape be like a horse head somehow. What about drawing a cowboy hat on the horse? Man, you guys, you're you're doing it. You're that's why we're here all together. Love it. Found it. Yep. So I think what we'll do, guys, look at this. This could be cool. What if the top of this leaf? Let me see. Do I want to turn it over? Which side do I want to use? Let's use this side. What if the top of the leaf is the hat? And then the other part of the leaf is the head. Let's see. I can see it. It's almost there, guys. We're so close. I got this cool yellow leaf. This is kind of a cool color. Maybe. Aha! We found it, guys. Yeah, we did it. So there's the hat. Let's make the top of the, that green leaf the hat. And let's make this the horse's head. Yes. I'm going I'm to cut off the stem here. I'm going to say, I mean, my wife helped me gather some of these things. I'm just going to give a shout out. So grateful she helped me. So yeah, do it with your family, guys. And that's something that you can do with this too. I think it's important to your friends, family, anybody, go on a nature walk and find some things. That's the best part. Okay. Yeah, make, make art a part of your life, guys. Find a way to, to, you know, if you love your family, if you love your friends, find a way to make art part of how you do that. I think that's important. Okay, let's start there and we'll, we'll fill in the parts that don't look like a horse with our ink. That's the best part. It's almost like we've got our imagination here, but we're gonna show everybody else what our imagination looks like because they may not be seeing it very well. So let's get our, we got our, our brush and I, I, made the, I made the point really pointy last time we got it in the water. So it's, it's ready to go. Um, Let's start out drawing the horse's face. Let's put a face on that leaf. Now, again, like if I glued it down or something, that might make this a little easier, but that's okay. I'm gonna draw an eye. Oh, 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 look at that, guys. This leaf has a really smooth texture. And it's not really liking the ink very much. Sorry, my head probably was in the way. It's kind of hard to draw on this leaf. I didn't plan for that. That's okay. If you can't tell, part of this exercise is just kind of go with it. And that's okay. There's the horse's face. And then this is the horse's hat. This is the brim. And then this part. This is that little, I don't know the special name for it, that little strap on the cowboy hat right there. Okay. And then we're going to use our ink to just draw a few lines for the horse's mane. That long hair that's on the horse's neck that's so pretty. Okay. Okay, and you know what? Let's get a saddle on this horse. Let's see if I have another good leaf for that. Do I have a round leaf? Here's a round leaf. I'm just gonna break off part of this leaf. Ah. That was a dead leaf, so that made it easy. Look at that. Now we got a saddle on our horse. It's official. Now we've got to put a cowboy on this horse. Let's see. So what if I use this stick? Oh, it's getting kind of topsy-turvy. Aha! We're doing this, guys. This is the real deal. I hope you're having fun. A hat band. There you go. That's what it's called, Janet. You know what you're talking about. You know your, your cowboy stuff. Oh, my goodness. 
Let's draw a cowboy boot. There's a boot at the bottom of that leg. You see that? And then we're gonna draw the, we're gonna draw the body of our cowboy. Why don't we make it, you know what, can we make it a cowgirl? Make it a cowgirl. I think that's what we're gonna do. Why not? Great idea. Why not? Yeah, well, I've got, I have my daughter at home. She's, she's my oldest, she's five. And if I was drawing a cowgirl, I think she'd be super happy. So there's our belt. Oh, I should have drawn a belt, belt buckle. I guess we'll have to use a rock for that. And then we don't have much room for the head, but that's okay. Let's see, I gotta think, gotta think. Okay, let's put the, let's put the scarf here. Every cowboy needs a proper cow, or cowgirl needs a proper scarf. Something like that. And then, hmm, hmm, hmm. I wish we had, let's see. Let me pause there on the head for a minute. And we'll do, how about we do her arm? And we've got like a lasso, right? Oh, and I wonder if we get, why don't we have some grass or something here for a lasso? That'd be a really good idea. Bandana, that's what it is, Janet. Yep, you know it. There we go. So um, what about you guys? Like, I know cowboys are kind of a Texas thing, but are there certain things where you live that um, people associate with where you live? Like what in New Jersey, what do people think about that's a special New Jersey thing or something? Is there something you could draw like that? There's the rope. Ooh, the yellow flowers for the hair. Love. I was kind of drawing a blank on the hair because I hadn't thought of the flowers. What a good idea. Okay, have there's a, a very lasso. Smart crowd today. Say again. We have a very smart crowd today. I know, right? We're so lucky. I know. Man, we couldn't we couldn't do this without you guys, that's for sure. Nobody wants to meet us watch us draw in a room by ourselves. Okay, so there's the hand holding the lasso, and I believe they call it a saddle horn. I think that's the thing they hold down here. So let's put the hand down here on the saddle horn. See, it's kind of fun to draw this way because I can, like, I'm just, I can't see the bottom of the hand because it's on the other side, but it's like I drew enough to, so you can see it, and that's okay. Um, and then yes, the hair. So let's let's pause on the ink for a second. I'm gonna get those yellow flowers from the fire hydrant. And they are starting to wilt already. They've only been picked for just like half an hour or something. I don't know. But let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, what a good idea. What could be her name? Like Miss Golden. What's a G name for a girl? Golden. Yeah, I'm blind and blank right now. Gabby, Golden Gabby, cowgirl. Gabby the cowgirl. Let's see, there's her beautiful hair. Love it, love it. And then you know what? I wonder if I have a thin stick that could be the brim of her hat. Janet is suggesting Goldie. Just Goldie, I love it. Yes, that's her name. Goldie the cowgirl. Yeehaw! There's the top of her hat, or not the top of her hat, the brim of her hat. And then, oh, oh, guys, we can use our little metal piece. Remember this? What if this could be her hat? Could it work? It's not, let's see, maybe I put it here. Can I just set it like that? That works, right? I know we're like at the top of our paper, but that's okay. That's okay. Now we gotta give her a head, I mean a face. So I want to show you guys something special. This is how my daughter, I said she's five. She draws the most beautiful girl eyes with the most beautiful eyelashes. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw eyes the way she draws them. Because ever since she's been doing it, it's how I draw eyes now too. So what you do is you put your circles in there. And then you do three lines at the top that all meet at the same place. Kind of like an arrow. 
very skinny lines. Can you guys see that? I know it's hard to see. It's really hard to see, I'm sure. Zoom up or something. I can't pick it up, guys. I wish I could. I would if I could. But she has beautiful eyes. If you were wondering, Goldie Gabby Goo right here, as someone has said in the chat, that's she has beautiful eyes. Um, and then we're going to give her a beautiful smile. And something to let you guys know that I remember they talked about in art school and stuff is that <clears throat> if you're drawing, it's a lot of times if you're drawing girls or women, take a look at the, at like the Disney princesses or anything like that. And they always have like almost no nose. You draw them with a very small nose. I don't know why that is, but take a look at it. And once you, once you notice it, you can't stop looking at it. You'll realize that all the Disney princesses basically have no nose. It's very weird. But that's what I'm, uh, that's what I did there. I drew a kind of small nose. But there she is. And oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. My daughter also loves glitter and sparkles. And I've got a pink marker over here. Maybe I can make some sparkles on her. Let's see. Glitter and sparkles, sparkles always make everything better. It, they do, don't they? Yeah. I like to draw sparkles kind of like snowflakes. Look at that. And maybe a few sparkles like coming off her shirt. They're just like glowing in the sunlight. Gabby Goo, the golden cowgirl. She'll rope a rope around any old world. Something like that. I won't quit my day job, guys. Singing's not what I, what I do the best. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. Okay, so um, what do we have? We're two forty nine. Trying to think. So we've we've done some um, eyelashers. Yep, some long eyelashers. That's what someone said in the text. Um, you can draw her doing a trick on the horse. Yep, this is a roping trick. That's right. So we've drawn this, guys. I'm trying to think of you know how we could anything else we can learn while we're here to talk about when you're drawn with objects. Does anyone have a uh, an, a question, I guess, about like when you're drawing this way or you're looking for things, is there any questions you have about how to do it or how to get better at it or anything like that? Um, so I'll look in the chat. Thank you for saying it's entertaining. That's good. It's so much fun. It's so much fun because think about it. If I was doing this, then I go back. If I have to you know, do a drawing that's like a more serious drawing for work or something, I'll go back to that drawing for work with a ton more ideas you know, new shapes. I've never thought of drawing a hat in that shape, but now I can. I can draw a hat in that shape, right? Um, or a horse or any of these things in these shapes. I've never thought of it this way. Uh, do a landscape. That was something that Jana asked. That's very good. Maybe we could try a landscape. That sounds beautiful, especially since we're using um, natural materials. Does anyone have anything else they want to ask or a question? Um, again, I wish I could take a picture of this, you guys. Take a picture of it. This is this is cool. This is something very cool. I'll try to center it. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home and do this with my kid, with my kids. I have three kids. Um, okay, so here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, take this apart, and we're gonna we're gonna try something else. Okay, or maybe you know I may have to take it apart. Can I? No, I'm gonna take it apart. It's it's gonna roll everywhere if I don't. But that was fun, guys. And look again. Look, watch. Once we take this off, oh. <gasps> It looks like nothing, it, it's hardly anything. So it's really, I think that it's amazing how much we can get from just these natural objects um, and how much life they bring to a drawing and how much the life they bring to a character. It's so uplifting guys, it's so uplifting. Any way, any way that you can get outside and use nature to be creative, it just makes you so much happier. And it gets us connected to the real world, get us off the computer, off all the things happen in the world, and we can just be, right? Just be. It's so healthy. Take a break. Okay. Um, someone asked, how do you draw so well? Well, the answer to that is very simple. Thousands of drawings, like I said, guys, just got to keep going. Got to keep going. Something someone told me, which I thought was so motivating, they said, the best, they said artists, okay, they said all kids draw, right? How many kids do you know that have like crayons? How many guys do you have crayons and coloring books, right? And draw all the time. 
most kids, I think almost all kids draw at some point. The ones that become artists are the ones that don't stop. Isn't that cool? It's the truth. It's the only difference, really. I mean, I guess we have talents or whatever, like, yeah, maybe we're more predisposed to make drawings well. But I think the secret in the end is the ones that become artists are the ones that just keep doing it. And they get better and better and better. So if you want to know how to draw well, keep drawing. Even if you don't feel like you're drawing well, keep drawing. Keep drawing, 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 and find ways to do it that's fun like this. So keep doing it. And I promise you'll get better as you keep going. So that's my little plug for that. Can you draw a butterfly next? Ooh, I love the butterfly idea. And 252, I have been caught talking. We got to get going, guys. If we're doing a landscape and a butterfly, <clears throat> we got to get to cracking. Okay. See, isn't that wonderful? You get lost in it. You just want to keep drawing all day. Okay. Let's make a beautiful landscape. Look at this, guys. I was, look, I was watching this video just the other day about Van Gogh's Starry Night. Have you guys seen that beautiful painting? Isn't that wonderful? You know, uh, uh, 252, 253, two seconds, guys. Give me two seconds. We're going to get online. We're going to look at Starry Night for just a second. Just a second. What a beautiful painting. I don't want to miss that. Okay. So Van Gogh, he struggled with feeling down and having some, some emotional struggles sometimes. And I think we all do that, right? And he found that one of the best ways for him to feel happy and to not feel like he was going crazy was to draw and to paint. And isn't that a good example for us guys? Um, and so that's something, that's something that you guys can remember if you're ever feeling stressed out. Oh, this is, no, no, no. There's like these weird music notes in the background of that. I want the real painting, not that. Hold on just a second. We're almost there guys, bear with me, bear with me. Open image in new tab, here we go. I want the real one. Uh, okay, well, that's about what we got guys. But isn't that beautiful? And look at those trees. Those are called cypress trees. There's lots of symbolism and things here. But um, anyways, anyways, I was thinking about that. And now that I'm looking at my drawing back down here, it doesn't really look much like that. And that's okay. But anyways, that was some good inspiration. Okay, let's go back. We got only a few minutes. Okay, so um, I got some trees in here. Uh, maybe like a hill or something. I don't know. What could this be? And the bet, oh guys, I love when you're hurrying sometimes. That's the best part because you've got to make decisions quickly. You don't have a lot of time to overthink them. And that's actually can be really motivating. Let's see, is that going to work? Maybe, maybe. Some what more about tools. doing a pond? A pond? Huh. A pond, you guys, that's why you're here. You give me ideas I never would have thought of. A pond. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to hang on to all my stuff and blow real fast. Get all that dirt out of there. Okay, we've got a landscape. Look at this. Okay. We could, we could talk. We could have a whole class about landscapes, guys. Because the, like, it's called atmospheric perspective, where things get lighter in the background. This hill's a little dark. We were doing a real landscape. That's okay. So I think it's almost complete. I don't know if we haven't even put anything down. Like... Maybe we could put a duck in the pond. I'm picturing that this is the pond. Oh, what about frogs jumping out of the pond? Ooh, guys, such good ideas. Oh my goodness. See, and that's something important too, guys, when you're making drawings like this, in your own head, when you're thinking, there are no bad ideas. You've got to keep saying that, no bad ideas. Because the minute you start shutting down ideas, saying, oh, pff, no, I can't do a frog then you won't think it'll be very hard to think of more ideas. So you gotta go, yep, oh, awesome. That's a great idea. Oh yeah, awesome. Cause you keep that, that positive attitude guys, then um, exciting ideas will keep coming. If you start saying no bad idea, not gonna work, then the ideas stop. So you gotta keep like a, a, like a happy, safe place in your brain to think of ideas. So that frog is not hopping. He's just there. What about um, lily pads? Lily pads. Oh, so good. Yeah, let's see. Maybe put, a, maybe put a frog here, like talking to that frog. We have suggestions for, uh, well, a turtle, birds. Um, a leaf could be a crocodile. A leaf could be a crocodile. 
Whoa, guys, can we do a flying crocodile? I feel like I'm running out of room a little bit, but. Why not? Let's do a flying crocodile. It's like coming down to get them. And they're like, wait, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Was that a flying crocodile? It sure was. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Let's run and hide. Where's mom? She's hiding under the lily pad. Let's hide under there with her. Wait, why is his head going this way? Maybe he's flying down to get this. I don't know what's going on here. Let's see. What was the other thing? Oh, butterfly. I want to leave time for the butterfly. We have a second. suggestion for the butterfly um, using the purple Mexican petunias for the wings. That would be so okay. pretty. We're done. I mean, we're, I mean, we're we're on it. Let's do it. Okay, so let's let's call that quits for our landscape with our crazy flying, our crazy flying uh, alligator, and let's let's do the next thing. Keep going. Through. And I think there's something special about doing these drawings when you're making something from nature, you know, like if we're making a butterfly with flowers, I think that that's really beautiful that we're making nature with nature. Okay, so let's not waste a minute. Okay, so we got to. So Josh, we do have a question here while you do that. Um, yeah. What kind of ink would you recommend using? Um. In our store, we've got several. Uh, India ink is is a really common one. Um, Higgins, it just look on the package because some of them are uh, will dry and never. Some of them are waterproof, which just means like once it dries, it will never come off your page again. And then some of the other ones, once it dries, if you get water on it again, it will come off your page again. And you can swirl it around. Um, both are good, but for different reasons. And so I just, I'd be aware of what you're getting and maybe ask the person in the store kind of some details about it. I'm going to use those petunias guys. Don't worry. Where are we on time? 59. You guys, you've been a great class. I hope this has been fun for you. I hope you want to go outside right now and get some things, or you want to, you want to draw some things with what you've already got. Um, just keep drawing. And if you start to get bored or you feel like you're uh, not very good and you're feeling sad about it, find a way to make it fun again. And this is a really good way to make it fun again. Um, and realize that everybody feels that guys. I don't, I haven't, I've never met an artist or a drawer that doesn't feel kind of bummed out sometimes about their drawing abilities, but they just find a way to work through it and keep going. And remember too, that the, the parts of you that are different or they're hard, like if you struggle to draw certain things, or maybe you don't draw well at all or whatever, that that's just as important because no one else is just the same way as you are. And so um, don't feel bummed out about any part of yourself, just embrace it and, and go with it. So, um, and know that you have something special to offer the world that no one else does. And I mean that, I'm not just saying that. Um, I'm excited to see what you guys are gonna make. So um, also just remember that uh, well anything you we'd love to see what you guys came up with so please, please remember to have an adult um, post it on social media and hashtag make it with Michael's and Michael's classes I just dropped that in the chat for you to you know copy and paste or write it down um, we'd really love to see everything you come up with today you guys seriously so I bet you guys have come up with some treasures I re we really want to see them so okay well I'll let you guys go I know we're at our, our I know we're at our time. Um, I know we're going a little bit over, but uh, here's our here's our butterfly. We can draw some motion lines to make it flying in the in the wind. I don't know. We'll see. And sparkles too, right? That just makes everything better. Of course. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for all you did, all you said. Any questions? We've enjoyed it. No, everybody really loved it. Um, everybody said thank you, and it was a great class. Perfect. I really enjoyed it, guys. Have fun and, and, and make sure to do this with your families and, and just have fun together. That's the only thing that matters. And love each other. And that, the same thing. So anyways, thanks so much, guys. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, everyone who joined us today. See you yep. in another class. Bye. Yep. See you in the class. We'll see you guys. Bye-bye.